The Perth City Link Rail Project site is a hive of activity, but what does it take to build the new Fremantle Line Tunnel? In this edition of Behind the Hoardings, we speak to two engineers responsible for the first stage of the construction process, building the walls and physically laying the foundations from which the Perth City Link vision will grow. The first step here is constructing the walls for the tunnels. The geotechnical conditions mean we can't construct a conventional tunnel, so by uh, using the diaphragm wall system um, we can build the foundations before then going in and tunnelling. The foundations range from 37 metres deep to about 7 metres deep, depending on our location. We go 37 metres deep so that we can get down to the, the harder material, which is called the, the King's Park Formation. Um, the seven metre deep foundations are so that we can construct the tunnel over the existing tunnels. The biggest piece of plant is the diaphragm wall crane which is behind us, up to 25 metres high. It can reach the 37 metre depths that we need to construct the diaphragm walls. Uh, it's essentially a trench that we're constructing, however the soft ground here means that we need to support that trench while we're excavating, so we use a bentonite solution. Bentonite is a type of clay. It's a very fine material that when mixed with water forms a solution which is slightly denser than water. Uh, we fill the trench with bentonite as we excavate and that bentonite supports the size of the trench and makes sure the soft material like sands doesn't collapse as we go down. I work basically below the ground and we put all the foundations in uh, to support the structures that you see. We've got behind us a, uh, a bower machine, a BG28, which is currently uh, using a technique called cutter soil mixing and as the machine drills down into the ground it's got a series of teeth which rotate and it mixes the ground with grout which is a cement and water based material that eventually solidifies and improves the ground which enables us to excavate safely above the existing tunnel so one of the difficulties with this aspect uh, of the works is the fact that we're working uh, within half a meter of the Joondalup tunnel um, the cutter itself penetrates down to up to eight and a half metres uh, either side and to within half a metre above the crown of the tunnel which is approximately five metres below ground. The cutter soil mixing actually forms a, a, a slab which uh, stretches across the top of the tunnels between the diaphragm walls and actually prevents the diaphragm walls from, um, from coming in uh, when we excavate the tunnel. The total length of diaphragm wall that we're constructing is 947 metres, with the panels being constructed in 6.5 metre lengths at a time. Once the diaphragm walls are constructed, we come along and do the first 3 metre cut of excavation, uh, before we then place precast planks over the top, uh, forming the tunnel underneath, and we then construct a conventional tunnel from inside. Mm -hmm. 